mark in the count. The swing arm now coming back as our countdown continues. The return of Osbrick. How's it going, folks? Welcome to the Brick Something News. Hope everyone's doing well on a beautiful Sunday afternoon. It's still beautiful over here anyways. How are things over there on your side of the country? It's been getting a little dark, and we've been dealing with the uh, last little bits of a hurricane that came up the coast a little bit. You know, just a lot of rain and clouds today, a little cooler weather, but that's actually my kind of favorite weather. So. It was good for me. Maybe not so great for everybody else. Well, you guys have hurricanes. We're kind of dealing with a little bit of like uh, air stuff from the um, wildfires. Hope everyone's staying yeah. safe up in NorCal and Oregon. Um, but anyway, I really can't complain when there's just ridiculous amounts of toys and toy news and toy geekery and nerd geekery and geeky nerdery going on. So... I'm having a blast. Thank you so much for joining me today, Oz. Um, uh, as folks may or may not know, Oz um, has was actually the first person to ever um, get me to jump onto a live stream. So, um, you know, I always I have a special place in my heart for this guy. Um, Appreciate yeah. that, bro. Absolutely. Um, and I'm sure folks know you because, you know, when can they not find you streaming? Like this guy, we'll talk about it at the end. What was it, eight hours last night? Eight hours. I put in a full work day for a stream, basically. <laughs> that happened last night. It oh, was madness. That's and amazing. Then, well, you know, that little secret that we all have, you know, after we go off live stream, most of the time we don't just disappear. A lot of times we hang out and talk. That talk yeah, went party. until about six in the morning. Oh. Six okay. in the morning, East Coast time. So that's 3 a.m. for you guys. So to, yesterday I jumped on. I said, yeah, I'll be on for 20 minutes. I did my classic brick thing, which is actually stay longer. But I wasn't too bad. It was about 40 minutes mm. or so. So um, had I stayed on, what you're telling me is that um, I would have regretted it. So, well, cheers hey, to you and the up. gang. Here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and he's fresh from a... A live stream with another Pinoy toy geek. Uh, he was just over on Mega J's. So this guy's all over the place. Yep. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and jump in the news. Um, actually, let me go and see who's here. I usually will wait yeah, for the first hey story, to the chat. Why don't you say this person's name? Oh, everybody loves it when I talk about speaking moistly. I often find it's good to speak moistly. <laughs> right? Moistly, it it's helps. a good time. How's it going, Speaking Moistly? Fan again, Collectibles. Good to see you. Look who's actually early to a live stream. Will that be you? Yes, I think that's you, Abe Froman, Sausage King of Chicago. <laughs> Toy Mama with a brand new moniker. I love it. I love that's that right. name. Good to see you. Nolan, what's going on? Thank you so much for joining us. Allison Troy is in the house. Greetings all. Brick, Oz, Nolan. Cool. We got our names. We are not simply summer children or... Children of the Revolution, which I appreciate. We are special. Yes. <laughs> Dar, how's it going? Good to see you. Um, hope everything's cosmic in your world. Thanos Copter right. is here, as usual. Um, likely going to like kick butt with the wrenches, but no pressure with the uh, links. But I will actually try and do it um, as well. So if I remember, and if I don't, just give me a nudge. Thanos, like, hey, where's the link? Um, let's see who else is here. This a-hole is here. How's it going? And do 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 your homie, uh, lifelong homie, I believe, Carol Geist. Right. Good to see you. K roll uh, since birth. <laughs> Rich joining us from Facebook. Good to see you, Rich Bogey. Honor you 83. Um, that would be 
Yeah, this guy, and the answer is no. He is <laughs> not. He, not. You ever see Truman Show? Like, um, they predicted Oz is what it was. It's, it's what it was. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Um, the rundown is, this is filled with needless ephemera we saw. So it's not quite news. Um, you're on the Brick Something channel. So it basically breaks down to bs news because some of this is going to be news ish stuff some of it is just going to be really geeky stuff that we've been wanting to talk with someone about so um that that's basically what we got going on one six shooter is here thank you so much for stopping in trevor um we're gonna look at some of your work in a little bit and it's i true. missed you by that much sorry that's an old person <laughs> joke um i think he was on your stream last night got off and then uh, i think i came on a little bit after that yep, yep he was there showing off the new beautiful well we'll talk about it soon so you have to wait people <laughs> nay wolf thanks for joining ray black good to see you um yes get a bucket and a mop to start speaking moistly uh so moistly who we got going on? Danny Phillips. Hello, friend. I, I got to send some packages to Danny Phillips. Uh, I'm happy to be um, Danny Phillips' Motu nice. connection from the States. Nice. Kayla Silva. Silver K, good to see you. And uh, like a good captain, he understood that reference. Awesome. Oh, people sure right. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into the news, Oz. Um, the quick nerdy logistics, um, because... I'm a pretty much gigantic nerd. Um, so uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, so there's a QR code that you'll see popping up here every now and then. And that QR code, if you're like you're so inclined, will take you to this link that's just going to show up at the bottom, uh, which is bit.ly slash brick something news. Um, and that'll take you to a document that has everything that we've ever covered here on the brick something news. Tonight's stuff will show up later tonight. Um, I've got some stuff to do right after this. But during the live, um, I'm going to try my best, or Thanos will try his best to kind of drop the links into the chat so you all can kind of follow along if you're watching live as we go. Um, but, you know, I just do this because I like to go back and look. And, you know, I, I get, I, I love like watching people's live streams or videos, but then I'm like, oh man, how do I get to that? I wish I could see that myself. And so that that's my, um, that's my rationale for that. So anyways, blah, 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 blah. Let's go ahead and um, go ahead and start with the stuff that we've seen, the, the ephemera. Uh, let's take a look first, as I said, at some work by 1-6 Shooter, fresh from his page. Look at that. It's like you knew this was coming. Uh, <laughs> figure Obscura, man. This weekend was all about the Figure Obscura. Oh, man. <laughs> you know making the announcement on friday that this is going to be figure obscure weekend all yep. crap in our pants after we just heard earlier in the week that the figure obscura half of the retail exclusive wave is coming and then they go ahead and they drop this guy on us mask of the red death Nevermore. Yes. yeah some edgar allen Poe. sorry i can't resist <laughs> the simpsons has that in my head um yeah Edgar Allan Poe, man, we're getting stuff from That's Edgar right. Allan Poe. Uh, that was like, I, I don't know, I, I still remember this project that I did in high school. Uh, it was all about gothic literature and it was like acting yeah. out. This Anyway, I love this. This stuff is totally right up my alley. And um, I think, yeah, like you said, it's dropped on a Friday. The announcement came out on a Friday. And so there really wasn't too much time to guess. And honestly, uh -huh. I didn't even bother this time. Um <laughs> <laughs> I, I've actually, uh, yeah, I've been super busy at work. I saw it. I was excited, but I was like, oh, if I, if I go down this rabbit hole of guessing, I know I'm just going to be, you know, either disappointed or whatever the next day, or yeah, I just kind of didn't want to get into it. So it was a nice surprise when I woke up at 6 a.m. my time, you know, got on my phone and saw um, this, like the photo first. I was just like, what is that? I don't even care. I didn't, I honestly right. didn't associate it automatically with Mask of the Red Desk, I just saw that no. thing's awesome. So first um, second that I saw the picture, I just thought, oh, we're getting death. And then I read Red Death. Like it took me a second to fully take in everything I was looking at. Yeah. And Mask of the Red Death and the nods that they have to Poe within mm -hmm. the pictures and the work. 
I was just like, oh man, because again, I'm from Baltimore. So anything with Poe is big to me. And just like this, this really hit it home. Every time a figure obscura comes out, like it just means something personal to me. I've had like a personal, with the exception of the Krampus, everything has had a personal meaning to me. Oh my God. Sorry, yeah. it just occurred to me. You you had me go. I mentioned earlier that Oz was the first person mm-hmm. to have me jump on a live stream, and that's because I was watching him unbox his um, uh, headless horseman, and I was yeah. in the chats and yeah, hey, cool, I'm going to unbox mine while I listen to you. And he's like, "Come on!" And, and <laughs> yeah, that was history. it. I said, "Join me," and you jumped on, oh, and we awesome. unboxed our horseman together. Yeah, and so that... figure obscure is like is, is is an Oz thing, man. It really is, man. It really is. And like, I had some fun trying to speculate Friday night, mm-hmm. uh, figuring out what this was. And we threw out a couple ideas and we were totally way off the mark. But the one thing I did pick up on and that Trevor confirmed was that their little clue picture with the hand pointing to the five was to say that this is the fifth figure in the line. Right. And, right. Right. You know, that was it's a really cool nod like the little little things that they put into it like that um so obviously the figure's amazing the accessories are awesome so that i mean that's the thing with the the figure obscure line that we don't necessarily get in mythic legions or cosmic legions is um you know these things come in a nice gorgeous box and they come with some extra stuff so um you know we're gonna clock here with a nice little edgar Allan poe nod with that raven up on top yeah. Um, and the Roman numerals are sorry, I'm teasing now. <laughs> yeah. That's a personal joke to me because yeah. <laughs> I didn't I've had no. clocks with Roman numerals that it have done the IV, and I was like, why did they get the four? And then I found out it is common on timepieces to have four eyes for number four. Not- and I was like, okay. Not that that makes any sense whatsoever. So you're right. fine. But check yeah. out this blood we've got going I on with this thing. I love that. Yeah, it's just sort of pooling up and dra- either, you know, I'm assuming it's dragging back. Right. Um, and it's got pegs. It's yep. got pegs in right it. There. So it's a solid figure stand, or there are four pegs for the, cl- the clock. For yep. The clock. Yep. Yep. I'm just looking at these accessories, right? He's got the, or it's got the one bloody hand and then the one non-bloody hand. There's like th- four sets of hands, including the ones here. Yep. I just love this paint job going on over here with this. Oh, man. Uh, so good. And, you know, I've got to say, like, I've heard people say it, but I, th- the soft goods on this thing are doing some heavy lifting. I mean, the figure, of course, is amazing. The accessories, everything. The mask itself is gorgeous. But this thing's fully robed, and yet it's like yeah. one of the coolest looking figures, right? And that's not easy to say for head to toe robes, uh, you know, soft goods. Like that's the tailoring on that, the the choice of materials, the wiring to kind of give you that sort of dynamic sculpted look. That's some great stuff. Again, by C. Jessam up in Canada. Right. Um, again, got to shout out that Pstoipe noise because um, solid team. Here's the box. Um, just gorgeous stuff. Right. The best part, this is coming out when Oz? It's shipping. Like they are printing labels, packing boxes. This thing is rolling now. We do not have to wait. Yep. And I, you know, probably by, well, they said it's going to take a couple of weeks for all the orders to ship. And I don't know what their process of shipping the orders is going to be. However, I mean, it is safe to assume that the earlier you ordered, probably the sooner yours will be, or it could be based off of number allotment because they had four up to four single figures that you could order per customer. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. you could also order one all in per customer. Yep. Yep. So, in actuality, you could get five. Now, mind you, that was only for 24 hours. That was only through yesterday. Today, that limit is off. You can go buy as many of these guys as you want if you had not done any yet. Now, they can't combine shipping on separate orders. So, sorry. 
but yeah i i went through that same thing i played it safe i i actually there was a thought in my brain of like ooh, i should get multiples and i actually successfully talked myself off that ledge but i lightweight regret it because of all the possibilities with this thing but I know, like the more I kept seeing later throughout the day, as you shared Dork Lair's review, I watched Jeremy mm -hmm. Jabrar go over it uh, on Facebook, yep, yep. and just like the different pop and swaps. And then Trevor, when he came on last night, he was nice enough to be able to show off the figure itself while we were live. Yeah. Uh, so, figure Oscar. Oh, God, now there's another <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> I got it, Figure Obscura. That's what I'm going to start calling every time we get a Figure Obscura and we're doing an unboxing or a countdown like last night. Um, yeah, that's pretty nice. But it was really... The more I have seen of this character, the more I like it and the more possibilities I see to it. I mean, again, even with him just being the Mask of the Red Death, I'm thinking a priest within the congregation of Necronominus, which mm -hmm. we all know is... Um, all in on that wave like i want all of it but i just i mean so the, the, again i was talking about the soft goods i love that like look this is um you know with uh some of the soft goods removed right so yes. you can kind of see um again just like different garments different pieces are just super interesting and super well designed um so i totally appreciate the the the, the just the work that the soft goods on this thing are doing. And, you know, we're spending a lot of time on this story, but it's pretty amazing. And, you know, you just look at that, like, right. Oh, such a cool look. Yeah, and this thing is, Oh, go, go for it. Well, go I was just going to say that this thing's a mask. And, and from what it's you guys told mask. me when I jumped on, um, after Trevor left last night, um, that he showed you this, right. Why don't you explain to folks what's going on with this? So what I love about this, this was actually the picture I used for my thumbnail because this, when Jeremy Gerard showed this off, that was the first I realized that that's not a head sculpt. It's a mask. The face underneath is a secret. So Trevor was real cool to show us the mask on its own without giving us the rest. Like we cannot see the head sculpt. He did not let us see it. Good on you, Trevor, because it's nice to get these surprises. <laughs> but that's, again, just one of those cool things with the figure Oscura, as we're going to call it now, uh, is that they always have these little surprises. Like with Krampus, you know, in his basket, you had some surprises. Father Christmas, you had the surprises mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. you know, what was in his sack. Um, you know, they've done a really good job of just giving us little extras like that. So, we still don't even know how awesome this could truly be yeah. because we haven't yeah. seen what's underneath that mask yet. I mean, right now, clearly it looks like it's going to be a skull, but it's going to be like one of the more zombies is going to be a unique zombie skull sculpt. We don't know yet, but it's still just going to be great. And this is one of my all time favorite shots. And I'm super curious because, um, you know, every time we get these new pieces in these lines, whether it's Mythic Legions, Cosmic Legions, Figure Obscura, um, my Lego brain, part of why I love these toys by Four Horsemen so much is that there's a built-in system. So I'm always kind of curious, like, how is that thing connected, right? What are we talking? Right. Are we talking face plates? Are we talking, is there a peg in there? Like, I'm just curious. Yeah. Um, yeah. So how are we going to attach this to our next yeah. or any other figures yeah and how is it attached to this i'm curious when they say there's something underneath but uh i also don't want to build it up because like you know mm -hmm. for for all we know it's it's a standard skull and they're painted so, really so cool. cool but um it could be could be yeah. i mean maybe not either way know. it's still gonna be yeah. great because no again then the next question is how does it connect if that's the case right so anyway we're nerding out and uh, great job, Trevor, on the photos. Great job, everyone at Four Horsemen. You know, I've been saying this in the, the comments, like, you know, I keep talking about the, the soft goods, right? But just everything from like the design of these things, the, the decision of which characters to do, the design of them, the sculpts of them are gorgeous. And then as you and I know, because we do Legions class, head to toe paint jobs, yes. like the way they're able to pull that off from figure to figure amongst like, you know, I don't however many figures are produced in the factory. And then they added like, you know, they got Trevor on board to like officially be a photographer and they're constantly getting great shots of these things. And then right. they're like, well, we want to move into soft goods. Let's get C. Jessamine. It's just like, they, they're just, they've got, they're running on like, 
uh, I was about to use a car analogy and I'm not a car person, but anyways, the, it's, that's all fancy talk for saying it's good shit. Let's move on. It's so um really good shit. Now you can, moving on to next cool shit. <laughs> yes, and, and as you pointed out, you can still you can order it here from um from Store Horseman. It is still on sale. The all ins, which came with like um a lot of these things. Two oh, mugs, no. the yeah, pen. these guys. Yep. It's so these are all out. sold out now. Yeah. Um, well, it it was pretty cool last night because it actually uh, it sold out back. in the morning in yep. like eight minutes, less than eight minutes. Yep. And then when they did the relaunch later, it sold out while we were streaming. And I was like, oh, it's gone. And then we refreshed later and all ins were back on the table. Yeah, I wonder what that's like. They had them back in again. So that was it was still really cool. But um, single figures are still available. All the pieces are still available. And really, even if you didn't get a chance to order it all in you can actually still just order all the parts and it's only going to cost you about five bucks more. So if you're I liking totally, everything. And I totally lied. This is not the end of it because I just realized, let me show you what this thing looks like. <laughs> right without the soft goods. Yes. There's some new tooling here, some reuse yeah. tooling. Yeah. <clears throat> gorgeous stuff, man. Gorgeous stuff. Head to toe um, and check out the door glare. Um, review because yep. the uh bill does some awesome stuff he's like just always doing some great pop and swaps in general but he he makes it a point to take these figure obscura through their paces and kind of show us how their pieces would mix with mythic legions and cosmic legions and there's some really cool yes. stuff that he did there consider that a tease and let's go ahead and move on to the next thing because there has been some newsish stuff in fact there was a big thing over on the um uh, the bigger side of toys, which is over in Hasbro, they had their um, Hasbro PulseCon on Friday. Yeah, just a, just um, a little something you may have heard of. Yeah, totally. Um, although I'll admit that I was a little bit more intrigued by that figure of Obscura, but that's okay. Because I actually was able to sort of watch this and I love, even though I don't collect a whole lot of Hasbro, I'm looking around at what I might have. I have like a couple of random um, legends here. and mm -hmm. But... Um, the reason I wanted to show this and the reason I even put um, uh, Ripper and uh, Buzzer on the uh, thumbnail, as I mentioned to you, is like, look at these head sculpts. As uh, you and I are both Masters of the Universe fans, yeah. um, as you know, I am like ridiculously into uh, Masterverse heads and also ridiculously picky. Yes. So I'm one of those persons who will pay for a custom head that's actually more expensive than the Master fi Masterverse figure. To um, because I'm like, nah, this character needs oh. to, I need to do it justice. You know, like my He-Man needs to, to look a little better. Uh, my she needs to look a little better, whatever it is, my Skeletor. So I will tell you, man, every time I see G.I. Joe in particular, like that's this is not the case for all Hasbro um, lines, but G.I. Joe classified, every time I see this line as an outsider who does not collect them is just like constantly impressed, especially by the head sculpts. I look at these and like all five of them are great. I would argue that like yes. three of them are just like amazing. And what's what's great about what what Joe Classified does is you know you'll see these characters with like the goggles or the or the the um I guess the welding goggles. This guy has um glasses usually, right? Yeah, um, it's like more like a visor like, almost, but yeah. Yeah. But they're like um yeah, you know, I I think we have the capability to do great human faces why don't we show them what they look like underneath? And man, I just, I'm just jealous is what it is. Like I right. wish Mattel could kind of pull off the sculpting work. Not so much the deco. I'm personally not super crazy about the, um, the sort of like uh, jet spray kind of like, what do they call that stuff? I don't know if you know, but like that, they, they call it like a real technology or whatever, where it's like, it's right. basically like inkjet printed, like, you know, instead of being like strong, like application of paint, if you zoom in, you see it's made up of a dot matrix um, kind of pattern. Yes. It softens it for me. And I'm one of those nerds who like notices it from my like old, old school print graphic design work. I'm like, oh yeah, that looks a little different when I see like these solid blocks of camel paint. And then I get to the face and there's a little bit of a moray kind of going on, but that's just <laughs> me. Anyway, what do you think of these? And am I like, am I overly dramatic when it comes to the heads of of GI Joe classifieds? 
I've been saying it a couple times this weekend. I've said it for a while. I'm not the biggest GI Joe collector. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, I have limited knowledge. I mm-hmm. wasn't all into it when I was a kid. I used to enjoy playing it, playing with them. That's no lie. You know, I only had a handful, but some of my friends actually had decent sized collections. So I did get some time to play with these toys. Yep. And this one, uh, you know, Dreadnoughts were my favorite sub team from G.I. Joe. And I just absolutely could not get enough of seeing both, uh, you know, Ripper and, and Buzzer being released here. And they can, you can remove the glasses. Like it's always a trademark of the Dreadnought. They got, you know, mm-hmm. glasses on, mm-hmm. cover the eyes and everything like that. And they were like, we're going to make it so you can remove the glasses. Yep. And that is, that's just, that's phenomenal to me. And it helps make these guys look so much crisper. Now, the only thing that I will say as far as an overall sculpt, and it's specifically on Buzzer. Mm. And I talked about this a little bit with Aaron and Tony Romo on Friday night on Toy Therapy. The butterfly joints. Oh, so the sleeves, if, th- these parts, I did not care for the sculpted sleeves being the butterfly joints. To me, it breaks the sculpt a little and it looks weird. Oh. I wish they had just done maybe the sculpt detail where, you know, the original shoulder joint is not where the butterfly joint goes instead of the sort of torn shirt thing. Right. Like they, if they cool. were do the torn shirt. They should have added it to the actual, you know, full shirt itself, not the butterfly joint. In my opinion, that's just sure. Me. And me. I appreciate that. You know why? Because I'm sitting here being all weird and um, anal about the head. And I was like, it's good to know that other people are weird and anal about other things. <laughs> With this yeah, case. man. Why not? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I hear you. Like, I see that. Um, not necessarily something that that bothers me at all but um but yeah i would get particular right i mean yeah i i don't know i said it's still a phenomenal gorgeous figure i think it's fantastic yeah these things are awesome these things um remind me so much of a walk in terms of like i was so happy to to play with a walk and enjoy those sculpts and because it reminded me of playing with my uh, my brother has a big joe classified collection and i love the way these classified figures move um, and I, I think they, they generally look really good and they've just gotten better. So man, I, I, that's all. I just, I wanted to talk about the heads and show some Hasbro love. Cause, um, cause I, I think they're doing some good stuff and, um, I want to throw a little shade towards Mattel cause you know, step it up, man. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you step them up, I might, you guys I might... can do better. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of doing better. Jesus, Mezco, like what? Come on now. They said right. my, Mezco did their Rumble Con this week, and uh, me and um, Berserk last week kind of teased it, and all we had were the teasers. And then they dropped this stuff early in the week, and this was one of the first things that was like, what? They're yeah. doing this massive Rumbler, right? This this um, combat truck suv thing armored vehicle thing filled with lights and um the whole nine um if you're doing an armored suv this mm -hmm. is how you do it this is how you do it yep totally like i appreciate that (laughs) reference Uh (laughs) uh-huh i love this stuff man and you know we were talking last night um on your stream about how like you know i kind of like weird stuff i was showing you the super seven worst figures and to me like of it's mezco and super seven are similar to me in that my favorite stuff that both companies do are the ones like their own ip right where it seems like the artists at mezco and at super seven are just having a blast coming up with like the coolest characters the coolest concepts not really you know having to be tied by by somebody else's ip and license or approvals or just like hey let's just be creative let's create our own thing and i've i i've only got one mezco in my collection and that's a mosquatch um mainly because of scale um i thought maybe i could get a gomez cuz you know he's a small bug dude but um <laughs> so i don't have a whole lot but i've just admired them from afar and i've handled them and i think they're really great figures um, but what I do know of them is just the level of detail and artistry is like right up there. You and I are big into legions to me, 
that's Mezco's right up there in terms of like the, the attention to detail, the painting, the design, the sculpt, the soft goods. Um, talk about soft goods, man. Their stuff is amazing. So to think that they're like, hey, um, let's do a giant vehicle that will likely be able to fit your Joe Classifieds and other um, yeah. comparable military action six inch figures. Um, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Agreed. Pretty damn cool. I think it's it's really, really awesome to see this. And, you know, again, not being a very big military toy guy, I can mm -hmm. appreciate all the look and the detail that they've included with this. It's it's going to be a nice buy for those that can go for it. And again, so, this code just wins. Yeah, they do. And and so, like, the, the question is, though, um, how much is this stuff going to be? Um, so, you know, like Nolan's saying, like, yeah, I don't know how much I want to know. Um, you know, fair enough. Um, I will say, and we'll take a look at it in a little bit, but they've just recently um, released a, a vehicle with a figure, um, that awesome mech. And that was 350 um, Right. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I would assume that the engineering on something like that's a little bit more complex because you're dealing with joints and trying to get the thing to stand up. Um, so I, I would I would personally be surprised if it was a little more expensive, but um, who knows? Um, yeah, who knows what they'll end up doing? And yeah, Mega J, like, look at that vehicle. Um, they did not say how much it's going to be. Um, so we'll see Ray's guessing about 400 bucks skyfall. Great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Right. But this wasn't the only vehicle, man. Like, um, the very last thing that they revealed was this and it's a smaller vehicle, but I don't, cool. yeah, I don't know what it is again. I don't know if they're just sort of like, uh, yeah, let's get into this whole, uh, 112 vehicle game. Cause I That'll look nice with that one NECA Terminator figure I have. I'm just saying. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, there's some other great bikes out there. One of my favorite ones um, is still the Punisher one. Yeah. Um, but, like, this thing looks great. Again, I don't know what it'll cost. If they're smart, they'll price these things um, pretty competitively. Like, we know they their their figures aren't cheap. Right. Um, but if they kind of want to make a splash right now, which I don't know that they necessarily need to based on their sort of um, way of doing business. Um, but I don't know. I think it's a good time to kind of put out vehicles and, and things like this for one In this scale. Right. Yeah. It's based definitely a good call. Mm -hmm. Especially if you can, um, you know, work that price because. You know, we've seen Thunder Tanks, right? We were seeing turtle vans. And so that's on the bigger end. The more and mm -hmm. more people sort of work in a, like a nice, more comfortable spot, uh, maybe in a couple hundred bucks. I don't know. Right. And I know, I'm specifically for this thing. I really don't hope. I hope this thing is not more than like, like, I guess with a figure, I'm hoping no more than 200. I'm hoping actually lower than that. But, you know, who knows? I'm, I'd like really hope has, for lower. Yeah, and it's not like the Gomez is going to take anything. It's just the same head, same body. It's the soft goods, right? Right. Um, but I don't know. Again, if they want to broaden and maybe get more attention from other people who don't necessarily Mezco much, um, that's a play. Uh, but it's either way, it's cool, man. They're entering the conversation, right, with like Engines of Vengeance not kind of working out, and then Ramen Toy doing their version. Mm -hmm. Um it's an interesting space and Valiverse kind of doing their car. Um, I don't know. It, it's an interesting time we're in. So cool bike. Um, there was this too, which is more of a tease and, mm -hmm. you know, rumble society, man. Again, I love, love, love their, um, their own IP stuff. Right. I love, I just, everything that they're doing with these things and it's a it's a tease it's like you know crustacean crab one-armed ahab looking dude i don't know yeah um i don't think their nemo is rumble society i think he is sort of a diff different sort of subline maybe mm. but it would be kind of cool to still see him go up against whoever this guy is and right that, whoever man. it's going to be cable I'm stitching at that scale <laughs> right like who does this? 
<laughs> yeah, it's it's cool stuff. And you know, you and I have said it all the time. Like it's such a good time to be a toy collector. There's so many cool different options. It really is. But that's like yeah. some hot toy level stitching on this figure. At, at a much smaller scale. Yeah. It's which wild. is madness but it's so good to see curious if folks in the uh chat are big into uh mezco kind of curious to see who uh who's into it who's collecting so anyway good to see folks and thank you so much for joining us um let us continue uh we're looking at that thing that i mentioned earlier so this thing dropped right um this was their first uh, not first, but their most recent kind of like um, uh, shot, I guess, in, in that sort of 112 space for like vehicles and mechs. This thing is now getting into, you know, people dropping into people's uh, shelves. We're seeing reviews. Yeah. Um, and they're, it's amazing. Like the second I saw this, I will tell you right now, this is one that I regret not jumping in on. I really wish I had tried i told myself yeah no i really want it but then i was like sometimes going for mezcos i've just heard nothing but horror stories and i didn't kind of need that stress in my life but right. now that i'm seeing them well you know i try to figure out where it fits within the collection what kind of display patterns i can i have with it kind of thing especially when you're looking at something that could be different from what i already have mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how can i work it in at the time, I didn't really see a way for me to really work this in. Now that Cosmics is launched, I'm like, son of a, yeah. you know, like <laughs> there is totally sure. a way to work this in now. Yep. And it's just phenomenal with the LED lights and everything else within it. Yep. Like this is just, and I'm a sucker. Like I love critters and yep. I love mech robot suits. Gundams, that kind of stuff. Like, and again, I like robot suits. I'm not going to say like transformers necessarily, but even even last night when you were having the worst, that thing was just cool and fun as a little robot dude. I could dig that. Oh, amazing, you know. So all the detail here again, the yeah. LED lighting. Look at that. And, oh, man, this just it ticks off so many boxes of what makes a cool toy. Yeah, and you know, I think a lot of people are are noticing, a lot of people who don't necessarily Mezco saw this thing, and that's why I kind of bring up, you know, it'd be smart of them to price that truck, that Rumbler, in a particular way mm -hmm. so that it's a little bit more accessible to people, and that motorcycle, because I think um, right. they will get a lot of attention from people that haven't done Mezco prior. Um, look at this yeah. thing, man. Just and, and people will get a sense of, like, the quality of their toys and what goes into them. This... Yeah, I full mean, on you... regret right now. Just so you know, like, <laughs> not fear of missing out. Like, I missed out. Not so fun, that that's where just I'm at. regret. <laughs> and you know, you know why else? Um, I, as a kid, was a giant Mork for Mork fan, and the fact that they did this like homage to Mork it was. I'm it's... glad you recognized it too, because yes. that's what I was looking at with it, and I was like, I love this. Most people will think of it as some kind of sentai pilot type thing or no, you know man. some kind of voltron suit but it's the exact shape color for more yep. <laughs> no totally man like yeah no nanu nanu all of that sure, stuff man right. i i i loved it just and then again impeccable soft goods man the suit on that thing is so cool right um okay so just to kind of keep it going as i said like i'm not making this stuff up there are people who are buying these things that aren't necessarily just putting their mezco um yeah you know toys in them that you mentioned cosmic legions and there's your right there with Prime this cool mech. yep just it fits perfectly you know as far as fits in stylistically uh, perfectly right. but not quite i i don't know actually oh, let me oh sorry missing out is uh, i'm missing out look at that thing this is this is the marvel comics um goodness of my childhood right uh, i wasn't quite there for the 35 cent cover price um i jumped in at 68 <laughs> cents that quickly went up to 75 cents um but man that right there is some you can tell like the the 
the people making these are like into the same crap that that I am and was and um there's passion behind it. it. That was a spoiler, but go ahead. <laughs> no. Again, there's just passion behind this. Yep, yep. Like these are products that they clearly care about that they put their labor of love into. Yep. And again, they don't know whether it's going to work or not, whether it's going to sell or not. But once you start getting into that point where you're putting it into production, you've really got to hope it sells and that there are people out there who are going to be as passionate about this as you are, because this isn't some diehard nostalgia driven yeah. purchase. Yeah. Bummer, because um, the one I was going to show, there was another uh, person who was putting their G.I. Joe classifieds in it. And there was like mm -hmm. a Lady J in it. So like they work, they fit um right, and proper scale i hope i hope that's the case with the rumbler um and as far as them selling out and wondering if they're going to sell like pretty much with mezco it's kind of a they'll always sell out they always do there's always a wait list yeah. it's just a matter of like will they reach new audiences and new people and potentially right. up their their um their quantities so uh, yeah, we'll see they don't Over. do necessarily made to order but mm -hmm. for the quantities that they put out, it's a sellout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, as, as Jay points out, like, I wish I could collect Mesco, but their surprise pre-orders is like a lot. It's it totally tough. is. And it's hard hard to jump in. There's that stress. Mm -hmm. But, John, thank you very much for making me feel not super old. Nanu, nanu, friend. Um, <laughs> and we're yes. on it with your brick. We're, we're, we're I, all that age here. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. I hear you, Ray, man. Yeah, I uh, totally get it. This is one of those things where I would have like just bit it and like whatever. Does um, anybody out there have one that they'd be willing to <laughs> trade to Brick for a Galactus? I'm just going to oh. put it out there. I know he's got one hanging around, folks. Oh. So uh, if somebody has one hanging on, I think I don't, I don't want to put words in Brick's mouth. You but... did though, but that's all right. You know, I'd consider. Um, yeah. yeah. Stupider things have happened. Speaking of stupid good things, friend, oh, I know you and, you and I. I. Yep. <laughs> Say it. We have been waiting to see what more to expect out of the beautiful creative beast studios yeah. and i got a chance to meet it was actually we were walking back to emerald night photos hotel room at power con hey. and there was this guy walking up on us and i noticed he had a mcfarlane box in his hand so i was asking him like about getting this wow. mcfarlane box he was the one that chimed us in that they were doing all the free stuff yep. turns out it's chaos from uh you know created be studios Creative mm -hmm. so got a chance to talk with him about this and i was like i need to know how big these dragons are and he wouldn't he's he's a good man he wouldn't give <laughs> too answer. much information <laughs> uh you know and then he was like but i can tell you that we had that five foot t-rex so and when he says five foot we're talking lengthwise so we're talking a t-rex that's just it's a little bit shorter than my arm span from longer than to. my child yes yeah so like these guys are big as you can see but they scale well with what you have and brick you and i have been looking at like that that tundra dragon for months now drooling and then this showed up the other day and, and the first thing i did was immediately i was like send a brick yep because this is our second dragon yep much appreciated and you can kind of see the articulation so this thing will be able to hopefully like you know spread back a little bit i could see this thing getting all real low standing up high and alert yes. like uh, the wings are a little scary i know that's something that people point out all the time um even you know just the the, the shelf space and everything and I, i'm with you i'm probably not the smartest when it comes to that but um speaking of uh, but these things are just gorgeous and that, you know, I'm reminded of some of the toys that I was lucky enough. My brother and I were lucky enough to have as a kid. And, um, you know, those Kenner figures, th uh, had 
um, play sets, right? The Death Star, even the Millennium mm -hmm. Falcon was a big toy. And um, when I was little, my my brother's five years older, he had um, Shogun Warriors. He had uh, Mazinger. He had Raideen. He had God, God Godzilla and Rodan, which is not technically Shogun Warriors. But that Rodan wingspan was, like, huge. So yeah. Yeah, um, they're not unprecedented. And there was a time, yeah. you know, when kids toys, I mean, your your average action figure was 12 inches tall. So I know it's like, it's very different. Things are a lot more expensive. Um, but I don't know, there, there's, for whatever reason, in my brain, there's room for um, these giant cool looking things. Um, even if it means that something stay in boxes and then get rotated out for display. Um, but dang, this thing's cool. And I don't even know what's up with this. This was just sort of like included at the end. Um, but these are some of their little raptors. Um, yeah, so this thing yeah. looks more like a statue. But um, I, I'm a, maybe for color ideas, like paint. I'm thinking that's what it was. Like this yeah. is kind of, because yeah. it's definitely not the same dragon. Yeah. But it's like, I'm hoping this is kind of a tease of, this is like the paint app we're looking for, which is kind of like a very iguana um style color art and pattern with it and yeah. i think Whew. that's what they're going to be going for with this guy but like i just can't get over how like everything creative beast studios is doing is huge for me because again i'm all about the critters and yep. this is just right there with that now they're getting into dragons which is like one of my favorite fantasy creatures ever Yep. And this will be a good stand in until I can hopefully one day see a four horseman full dragon. Yeah. I don't yeah. know how long this one is, but this looks to me um, more than 12 inches long with that tail. If oh, again, I go back to Boba, it's definitely going to uh, be scale. somewhere like two and a half to three feet with tail. Because so, you figure if you fully actually, extend neck and head, that's probably about six inches itself. This is actually a TVC, yeah? That's not black series. Is that vintage? So, I thought it was black series. Uh, I thought that was six inch. Uh, I'm looking at it. I'm go back to the picture sure with the guy's, in, no, the guy's hand. To, yeah, with the guy's hand. Because your average six inch figure. Yeah. That's so that Boba Fett would have fit in this guy's hand. You think? Yeah. Either way, I guess the answer is huge. Um, yeah, it's big either way. It's <laughs> there you go. Certainly the... Four inch. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, I gotta it. Remember, then. words are to be read, as um, highly articulate likes to remind articulated likes to remind me. Well, we're from the U.S. Reading's not always our strong suit. That's what I said. Says the pretty picture. Um, absolutely beautiful sculpt work. Um, uh, I don't know if you're kidding, friend, but there is one coming from D20. Um, and it's gorgeous. I, I covered it last week with Berserk. Um, there have been some um, updates that I don't think I've covered. Maybe if we can fit it in, we'll see. But but this thing is amazing. Um, yeah, uh, it's funny. Uh, we were just sort of talking about um on a walk talk we were talking about the potential of uh uh steeds and how like you know oh god that's a lot of shelf space but then yeah. he, both he and i start proceed to talk about the horses and moose that we have in our collection and i've got the boar and so it's kind of like i mean you know the heart will make room so right right here's you a little bit more oh sorry yeah, we will. We'll fit it in, right? Um, I just wanted to show this. This is uh, from Creative B Studio. This is them painting for their... Um, it says Cyberzoic, so I guess it is part of their Cyberzoic line, although mm -hmm. I know they're doing sort of a, a mammal. It's not Beast of the Mesozoic, but it's Beast of the Other Time Period. Um, right. But apparently these are from Cyberzoic, and I just... Um, the, right, that's the, their Dino Rider line. And so they've got mammals up in that thing, these saber tooth cats, and just cool to sort of see the painting process. Just respect, man. Like, I, yeah, the, such good work. But look at the, the sculpt, too, and where that thing's going to be articulated. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the best things 
about their stuff too is that with all that articulation it doesn't break the sculpt because we've seen with other um dinosaur lines that you try to add in too much articulation or this or that and it really breaks up the sculpt Mm -hmm. but these guys just they make it work yep you know, I still have some Beasts of the Mesozoic that I haven't opened, um, so I got to get to that soon. I've got a, a raptor, but... Uh, Dude, I'm anyways. just going to say, I know this really awesome channel that does this hangout and unboxing thing on Saturdays. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like I'm not unboxing anything over there. I'm That's just true. behind. Oh, Ooh, here you more. go. I just put things out of order. So uh, rewind real quick. And um, yeah, there's that Mezco with G.I. Joe Classified just to... Now this we'll makes just... me want to see like some kind of better version of that snake armor <laughs> from uh, the old vintage line. I mean, I, I know uh, Super 7's doing the ultimate versions of the Cobra armor, but um... yeah, if they do that <laughs> snake armor, I hope they st- I hope they stay true to the original design. Those things are so beautifully like clunky. This. Yeah, but I want something like this though. Sure, sure, <laughs> I see that. All right, moving back. This is something that you shared with me that um was i was so happy when you showed me these um what's the deal with morphonauts so first off i fell in love with the name (laughs) i first saw this shared on and now i can't even remember whose channel it was posted and the first thing i saw is another line of toys that you and i have both spoken about that we both appreciate battle beasts Mm -hmm. Uh uh-huh uh-huh and so i was like oh wow these are really cool are these a custom what are these i thought maybe somebody was just 3d printing doing some custom figs whatever and then i went and i started following the trail and it Mm -hmm. led me back to morphonauts which apparently have been around for a while flying under the radar Mm -hmm. um they've got several different things as you saw like they had like a ninja turtle kind of esque line going yes and they print in different scales because you see here this is scaled with six inch just absolutely fine uh the combat creatures yes are done in two scales as well they had some smaller ones as you pointed out to me brick yep Yep. um so we get like two different scales with this which is great because again with battle beasts they were a smaller line yep so like if you get the smaller scale version it kind of makes them look like they did back when uh compared to your other toys or if you want them to be more uniform you buy the larger scale and put it in with the rest of your collection yep but these guys hit a certain you know mark with me because again battle beasts were a fun cool line they had their different weapons their different factions their different elements and it's neat to see somebody finally because again we're living in an age of nostalgia you know love and so to see these there are certain companies that are just they're putting stuff out and they're sitting on other stuff and it mm-hmm. could be because they're scared and they don't want to take a chance or whatever, but spread that love. And I'm glad when I see a third party of some type like Morphonauts pick up that yep. torch and start carrying it, bringing us something like Ace from Ramen Toy. You know, he comes in and he helps you know, facilitate these kind of things. And this is where we see Morphonauts. They are picking up this torch. They are going to give us some battle beasts. And like I said, that's not all these guys are doing. They've got a lot of really great stuff going on. But again, look at the detailing, look at the sculpts. And like some of these are prints, like they are already manufactured. These are not just digital renders anymore. Right. Yeah. And I don't know what their deal is because it does say that they're going to do this Kickstarter. Um, They posted Mm -hmm. this last week. And so Mm -hmm. I don't know if the Kickstarter is going to be for like what scale because it doesn't say. No, um, it didn't. And that kind of multiple hands, all of these things. So we'll see. Um, At 31 points of articulation, I imagine it's going to be kind of larger. No, that was Wade's first question. Very dope. What's the scale? Yeah. No, totally. That's um, because I'd love to, to see these 
on my shelf too in a sort of larger scale. And I'd hope that if they scaled them up, they'd have a little bit more detail than what's here um, in the renders. But, um, you know, I know a lot of people who are Jones and for some battle beasts. Um, so I think that'd be really cool. Here's uh, it printed in 118. And you right. can kind of see what these things look like. Um, so we'll have to wait and see and follow um, classic battle beast um, paints. Yep. Uh, uh, paint scheme, color scheme. Here's uh, the larger six inch print. And you can see like some of the details lost because again, they're scaling it up but from what I assume exactly. was designed for. Yeah. The smaller for one eighteen, Right. Yeah. A shorter size. But I mean, again, they are just really, really cool. They're paying complete yep. homage to the original source of, you know, what we had uh, as kids. And it's again, they're, they're making sure that they get that, little bit of nostalgia factor for everybody yep and i like the i do like the weapons on these as um danny's pointing mm -hmm. out they're just fun fantasy stuff you know and uh i've made the armor's cool about, i've made some comments about recently some blades strapped to your wrist is always just a really bad idea but it does look cool but yeah it's just a bad idea <sighs> Yeah, I used to do um, Kali and Eskrima, and, you know, we do bladed weapons, and the instructor would always tell us, like, listen, like, don't let Hollywood fool you. Anytime you pull a, a blade into it, even if you're using it, you're going to get cut. It doesn't matter. You're going to get cut. But the true <laughs> practitioner is, uh, and what determines your skill is, will you get cut less than your opponent? So, <laughs> yeah, so... Anyway, these are pretty cool, you know, sort of seeing these things that are right there with um with blight. It's a walk. Yeah. So I don't know. It's interesting. I'm gonna I will be watching your career closely. Um oh speaking of <laughs> do it. Uh I look at this cool, weird custom stormtrooper figure that someone made. It's a weird choice to kind of mix it in with like this this weird face thing, but I think it's a pretty cool looking design. Like, um, right. And I'll leave it at that. I think it's kind of creepy and it's like, they, they took like a Roman, uh, like soldier kind of legion, lost legion kind of thing and shoved it, it in with a stormtrooper. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of, um, what did they call them in 300 black legion? Oh, I don't remember. The, uh, Xerxes I think I only saw that once foot soldiers. Once, but... Okay. Uh, or his elite foot soldiers, rather. And that yeah, wouldn't even been... Was that 300 or was it its sequel? It was 300 was it with the Persian okay. masks. Okay, he was. He was in the first one. Okay. Yeah, um, all from the original comic. Yeah, and it totally looks like one of the guards from the 80s, Flash Gordon. It absolutely does. And yeah. they were called... Um, so maybe that's what this person was going for. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I think uh, the Immortals is what they're called. Says Immortals, Skyfall. Thank you. Thank says, you. Guys. Speaking moistly, says Nolan. Um, See, this is where anytime my brain has a fart, everybody else squeezes the shit out for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you, Thanos. You're on it. You found it. You are fast. Um, these are cool. It's a trip. Just don't read what's going on on the right there, but just, just consider this a really weird custom, and I'll leave it at mm -hmm. that. Um, what an interesting concept. Imagine if Star Wars actually like worked something like that into um, canon. It'd be just so weird. Yeah. Like some kind of like honor guard or something. I don't know. Hmm. It'd be yeah. different. That's for sure. Anyways, that's enough of that. It knocks enough. Let's uh, move over to this just because um, I know you love creatures. This is totally not at all um, an action figure design. But um, I have just sort of been intrigued by um, turtles. I'm looking for the version of Ninja Turtles on my shelf. I think I sort of did land on Fury Toys. Is it Fury Toys? It's not Fury Toys. But there is that sort of uh, something available from 5K of the larger turtles that um, I right. have. But I saw this and I was like, ooh, like something more like that would kind of be fun too. So yeah, he's definitely right up there in that really neat, cool aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, you can definitely see the, 
the full real world realization of the animal within this anthropomorphic style because like you look at the way the hand is and, and the way the feet are like okay let's remember animals don't have uh you know opposable thumbs like <laughs> so the idea of them gripping anything is cool but like they've designed it in a way that it makes it work they don't walk mm-hmm. by a pedal on a feet like that but we're going to find a way to make it work so it's beautiful it's the perfect mix of realistic and a fantasy yeah absolutely stars right on it it totally looks like um children's book fantasy done in adult style and i yep. think that's that's actually like um, it's the easiest way to say what i just said and i appreciate well, you for simplifying it absolutely and i think that kind of like um gets at maybe what my one of my favorite aesthetics is in styles like i just love that approach right the children's book abstraction the cartooning is but done yeah with some photorealism i just i i'm intrigued by this um i've got turtles on the brain right now but um but as I many process and into yeah and i think the other thing is like i just wanted to point out how like you know we, we do the action figure thing and it's really cool to sort of just see artists on ig um you know yeah. just kind of like working the technology and coming up with um you know these versions of characters and then being able to like have a venue for people to to look at it so i just kind of i thought it was cool it was something um i thought that was cool that i saw and figured i'd share it with you so yeah i appreciate it man because you know i have a high appreciation for just art in general yep and this is phenomenal 100 percent So I think, I think, I think, I think that gets us to kind of the customs corner where we're going to kind of take a look at um, different custom action figures. And um, of course, it's hard not to look for customs um, and not find a mythic legion slash cosmic (laughs) legions figure. This is by Noble Bear Customs, um, who, uh, by the way, did an amazing job of uh, of sort of Wukong head before. And you see it. Oh, yes before we got the figure obscure one but i i love this thing um this just you know screams of like perfect like anime kind of it, it actually is um i don't know if it's from it but it reminds me of some of the stuff that came out in the um the anime inspired uh star wars thing that came out recently they've already they're okay. like in their second season um love the eyes on this thing um the way yeah. they painted very cool well it reminds me with a a certain other project that has recently been going on with ninja scroll like the old man from ninja scroll right here like yep yep you know it's so neat to see and it's got all of you said it perfectly it's got all that anime influence it's using parts that exist and then adding some extras too to really drive it home yep yeah it's 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 solid and you know i just so much of um of what i'm liking about this sort of like toy renaissance this time period is that again um, people are getting access to the technology to kind of bring their ideas to life so earlier we just saw someone um kind of feet. creating a 3d character right and just kind of capturing our attention and then now people can print these things up um and sell them as custom parts right like these feet and then mm-hmm. others can paint them up um of course a lot of this stuff as you said is stock like this is um cosmic legions parts yeah, some of some these tusk. are not mm-hmm. these are right. custom van braces or whatever you call them gauntlets mm-hmm. um some stock mythic legions pauldrons but yep. all in all you put it together people show their artistry with the paint and uh boom there's that head um just really cool looking such a unique head that like cranium like totally looking like their brain is sticking through yeah Um, yeah it really does it's like grotesque in the most beautiful way mm -hmm. i I love this it just sort of extends um what can be done with these lines so that's what that's what i absolutely love in customs um to get away a little bit from mythic legions because we know we could spend so much time just looking at mythic legions customs but yeah look at some uh marvel legends oh. love man look oh. at this i think some of this is actually diamond select too but um this is by one out customs um 
just many, uh, many versions of the Fantastic Four. You got what Future yes. Foundation version. We've got the new Fantastic Four from the What If going on. We've this is really really good. I like How hot is this. this, right? And respect for the organization at your workspace, there, buddy. Um, right? But yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's more beautiful, the actual Fantastic Four <laughs> or the fact that he's kept this so neat. Like, how is that cutting in. pad so clean? Yeah. <laughs> Look at Franklin right there. What's Franklin's little sister's name? I forget. Oh, oh I um, cannot remember her name because she came along after I was kind of out of reading most yeah. of Yeah. When I was reading Franklin, he was he was a tiny mm. kid, too. So he was still yeah, hanging he out was with a power baby. pack. So. But I just I love this. I um, the closest right. thing I have to these are like minifig versions of all these different sets of Fantastic yeah. or Lego Lego minifigs. But I I love this man. I love a good team, and I love when people kind right. of like really work on creating oh. customs. I love that he throws the baghead Spider Man in because he he wasn't even an official member. It was after Reed blasted the black suit off of him, and he didn't have a yeah. costume to get home. He had to get home. Yeah, so they gave him. He, he didn't even have his web shooters. Yeah, they just gave him a freaking. Here's an old Fantastic Four outfit, and yeah. Johnny was like, you know, yeah, that's the clothes are great, but I need something to cover my face. Like they, <laughs> they couldn't do some. Uh, you can do some unstable molecules uh, mask. Right. But anyway, good stuff. One O Customs. I love looking okay. at. Um, yeah, I love it, man. This is the stuff of my childhood. Let's move on. And of course, we're back to mythic legions but it's hard when we're talking customs because there's so yeah. many this is by retrospect customs um just taking that oh, um good. horse that you love so much that came with your headless horseman um i'm assuming taking the head from a shadow aquadron and yeah i don't don't know where the horn is from but that thing is awesome i love that it's it's ribbed right um for your non-pleasure um the wings yeah, it's so good. You freeze. I think you froze. But yeah, this thing is epic. Yep. And you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I wasn't sure whether it was you or me that cut out. I'm assuming it was me. Yeah, but um, this thing is is hot. Um, I just I and again the the wings. Um, look really good on this thing and i'm trying to think did these week that these the wings that came with uh no, no. i don't think so they don't no those are they're not the they're not the wings that came with the no 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 i was thinking alithia tuberculi oh. we don't even have alithia yeah. no she has this whole other thing and that's another figure i haven't unboxed yet but um but whatever it is, those things look really good. Um, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know the deal. I'm sure. Let's see. I'm sure if I just read, it might say um, we could try that for once. <laughs> let's see. I mean, I just look at stuff and I geek out, and there's nothing here. But um, this thing is awesome. It's so cool to see like people really just like having fun with it. And you know, it's like Mythic Legions. It always amazes me because I honestly would be scared to take a Dremel to one of my Mythic Legions or paint them. So I I'm, I got to work up to yeah. that. Like I'm going to start yeah. with like a $12 or not even less than $12 Jurassic Park dinosaur that I got from Burlington Coke Factory, Coke Factory and kind of work my way up. for that. Yeah, I've got a I've got a battle cat that I want to work on before I would ever touch a Legion's horse. Yeah. Um, and I feel kind of the same about the figures. Like I want to do some custom work painting on like, you know, my little figure here, this guy. Um, yeah. Yeah. I want to take some paint app to this, but I want to test it out on doing maybe like some origins custom work or, um, well, as a matter of fact, Adams helped me out. Um, of course that'll wait a little bit, but you know, I bought a whole bunch of those little dollar store guys, the, uh, final faction. I'm going to yep, play yep. around painting those guys up first. I'd much rather take some paint and, and practice some things before I get to the point where I'm trying to do anything like this with something as expensive and as yep. beautiful already without me touching it. Yep. And thank you for the uh, assist there, folks. Valeria is uh, Franklin's, uh, the youngest Richards. Name. Yes. Um. <laughs> oh, uh, 
you know, I, that's a great question. I don't know if they ever brought him into the comic. I remember him from the cartoon, though. Well, that dope, fantastic car. Anyway, this thing, very cool. Um, I know I've gotten way too many horses to to, uh, to reference that conversation that that um, Adam and I had. Um, I I've only got that... the one, but I I need a moose. And I was just on Mega J's channel saying that we don't need any of these, quoting our good friend Adam. Yep. And yet at the same point in time, I need a moose. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. He's and got two. Adam's got two. So you see, uh, he understands. Well, yeah. I, I mean, so many. I feel like it's, uh, yeah, it's also a point of national pride for him, too. So it's got to be, you know, but I've got a bone horse coming on the way. So. Yeah, and Thanos has got two horses, three on the way. I mean, that's where I'm at, too. At a certain point, I, you know, how are you going to collect a line by a company called Four Horsemen Studios that clearly wrote the equivalent of Four Horsemen into their mythos and, like, not get the horses? So that's where I'm at. Um, anyway, friend, as we sort of start to wind down, let's kind of uh, feature something a little bit, a little, little bit more, and this is kind of where I... Um, call the uh the, that's what's up section right so this is the stuff that like i really um think it's extra special cool it's a little bit of extra something something and as you know um the name brick something exists because i'm a big lego head and so um i need to feature a little bit more lego and this one was definitely one that deserves it i don't know if you saw this a couple of days ago i saw um, in the discord yeah Cody, Cody Aner bricks, I think. Cody Aner. Um, there's, yeah. Anyways, um, Cody Aner or Cody Aner um, did this amazing thing. Mock for those of you who are mainly in the action figure world does not stand for mint on card. It stands for my own creation. It's when folks take their pieces of Lego and just uh, go to town with it without needing instructions, right? They're just like straight up, I'm a make. What I'm a master make. builders. Oh, this man. is my own creation. And so this person did a Star Wars Return of the Jedi using snot technique, stud not on top. You can't even see any of the studs on this thing. Nope. You can see a couple here where they probably need to stand for action, a little, but a little towards that port window in the back, but so, so little. Yep. And done in the style of the newer sort of um, adult display sets. Um, yeah. complete with a plaque on the front that reads, I am a Jedi, like my father before me, where Luke right. Skywalker, uh, you know, famously offers his contribution to the uh, Jedi way of life by tossing the saber, baby. Um, I'm be on the toss and the saber forever, because I think we are getting a strong reminder of that in a little show called Ahsoka right now. But um, this thing is fantastic this is like not just on the lego side of things but in terms of like the the play sets and diorama for like action figure people yeah. the the design of it the approach to how they're like what angles they're going to choose you know what they what this person chose to show in terms of the walls um hinting at the space continuing beyond this it's just really really cool um Really great building techniques too. This sort of circular window stuff is always great. Um, yeah, right. Just the amount of time it takes to even like, did he plan this or did he like just? I mean, I guess there's there's a certain amount of planning you kind of have to do uh, going into a project like this because you're gonna kind of have to know an idea of piece count, what kind of pieces you're gonna need. Yeah, exactly. But, you're gonna need your materials for sure. Yeah, yeah. And fortunately with Legos, unlike um it's a <clears> shout out to my boy Skelly who's in the chat just coming off his weekly weirdo earlier, but you know, like Mattel just ain't got the idea with giving us modularity. They haven't given us parts bins or a place where we could just order parts. Lego has made a phenomenal job at cataloging each and every individual brick that they make so that oh, when yeah. you do want to do something like this on your own. Yep. You can order direct from them the pieces you would need to fully assemble this. You don't have to go to the store and buy like 15 different sets of the same thing just to get the few pieces that you need over and over again from it. You can buy directly from them. 
So, well, you know, what's even better uh, on that note is so you can design all this stuff digitally. I didn't even take a look to see if this was real or not, because some of the no, this is real. But you you can um, design these things in um, Lego designer, digital designer, and there's other uh, versions of it. OK. And and that gives you access to the parts library and you just build and build and build. And then you can spit out instructions and a part count and it'll do exactly what you're saying. It'll tell you exactly what parts you need. And then you can go to places like, um, um, oh my God, I'm, it's been a while since I've been on the brick. Bro. Oh, wow. Yeah. See, I've got a bunch of the, what's it called? Like the, my latest four way Fourier into Lego has been like the Minecraft Lego stuff with Connor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. and you know like i've got a bunch of that set up over here right now so i haven't done much of that yet but now you got me thinking brick and i'm about to be in trouble <laughs> be careful tread lightly part of the reason i was able to transition back into action figures is because i've i experienced reverse sticker shock from having been a, a lego collector and then going into buying figures is like oh wow these things are cheap these uh, things are manageable to <laughs> yeah totally <laughs> but you know cody anna does amazing stuff and th this is just a tease yeah. of of the the work that they've done um you can see here like clearly big into star wars done some other big mm -hmm. pieces um and let's see um the size is massive 25 inches in length oh, 15 inches deep and 13 inches high yep and it's all lit using um light my bricks right. and bricklink was the site that i i um i feel like i need to turn in my lego card because i forgot bricklink and actually that's a good but sign because that means Adam's i haven't been buying you. good that, that just basically means that i haven't been buying which is a good thing um because obviously my money's been um <laughs> been going out <laughs> yeah it's not that you have been buying you just have been buying lego <laughs> yes and so star like that's that's right there right in terms of just like that's how beautiful um this thing is and i know it was probably a quick glance but like this is super impressive the fact that you know you can build this thing and really just capture the look of like we all know this is the emperor's throne room um yeah just amazing so yeah and i hear you speaking moistly back in the day just your own creation same with me like that that's my thing i love the only time that I've really spent like keeping models is what you're seeing here, the Star Wars stuff in particular. And usually there's something that I'm fiddling with because I'm not um, super 100% uh, happy with them. So there's always little things that I tweak. So right. well done. Impressive. Most impressive. impressive. Yeah. LDG is a ton of fun. Brick link. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. So this thing is amazing. And I think uh, there's one other thing that I wanted to show back to action figure stuff. This is old. This is like really old, but um, uh, we want <laughs> more Thundercats so posted cool. it. Yeah, we wanted more Thundercats posted it, you know, kind of like saying, hey, Super 7, what's next? Like, and I you commented did on Cat Slayer. <laughs> yeah, it's so true to like, we want more Thundercats name and and sees every time something new is released, they're doing interviews with Brian saying, okay, so what are you doing next? But um, yeah, yeah, enough. We've already seen that. Let's go on to the next thing yeah. you guys are working on. But uh, this thing is awesome, right? Plundar, like that. I just love the sculpt of it. And I would I love to see this in um, plastic form one day. I'm, I'm not in a rush. I know people need to like get their um you know get their uh cat's lair in but uh mumra colecciones did this and i think it's such an amazing custom always intrigued that you know is. we have skelevator on here this reminds me of like skelevator's amazing dio or, or um not even dio like structural work right creating snake mountain right. and, like, and so i i love these kinds of things um and i just i, I think it is an intriguing design right um this kind of cool gargoyle thing mixed with a building in the back. He's got some sort of custom um, figs attached to it as well. But the mutants, right? So cool, you so know, so great. iconic. Yeah, it's like Castle Grayskull. It's uh, 
you know, you've got like the, the centerpiece that you're focused in on. Eternia is the same way. That was always my issue with Snake Mountain. Snake Mountain is yeah. a little bit of a design mess, in my humble opinion. Um, this reminds Not me the of the way Dragon Skelly War. makes it. Well, I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. I'm just saying, like, design wise, when you're doing Snake Mountain, like, what am I supposed to focus in on? There's so much, right? Okay. Nah, yeah. No, I see what yeah. you're saying because no, like, I'm just all saying, the little cast- details and that organicness of it, it's hard to focus in on one thing. Well, if you think about like Castle Grayskull, it's the skeleton, it's the icon. Yeah, Boom. Yeah. I get it. I read it quickly. Snake Mountain, you've got the snake head, but you've also got this other monster head. Right. There's a you got wolf the head on the team. side. Yeah. Demon heads all over it and just tons of really, really cool little details yeah. that I appreciate, but I get what you're saying. It makes it hard yeah. to have a central focus. Yeah, it's like competing where... ideas. So, but this thing definitely is just, they know what you want. They want you to focus in on. And there's other things going on here, but because it's vertical, you know, you've got this kind of nice clean line that you're looking at. And... Right. Just a design note that nobody cares to listen to um, because it's still just awesome. There's the original from the show. Right. The plunder we're all used to. And in video to get a sense of it. Again, this is old, um, but mm-hmm. it's I, still cool to look at. This is perfect when someone was asking earlier, like, what is this show about? Like, is it really new? It's not news. Um, it's old, but um, it's new. It's news. BS news. And yeah, it's BS news. Um, and I've been really into the idea of play sets and dios mm-hmm. lately. Just the idea of creating environments, right? Um, yes. on my shelf. So part of this has been um me researching and looking at what other people are doing and just cool ideas for like backdrops and pieces on the shelf to go along with the figures. Look at that. That's that's what ha- that's how I found Skelly in the first place. Yeah, was I was looking at custom play sets because I was getting ideas for display for how I wanted to do, you know, m- my stuff. And <clears throat> looking through it, he had just posted a couple videos about his first Snake Mountain that was just completely incredible and amazing. And then he started working on his Fright Zone and seeing those different ideas. I could never, well, I don't want to say never, but you know, the, the patience, the time he takes and the care he takes to make yeah. just some amazing work. Like you see, yep. he's saying here, Grace calls all the bricks. Yep. That's right. Yep. Yeah, totally. Uh, so to do something like this is beyond my capabilities is where I am now, but like, that's how you find this stuff. And, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, between me and Skelly, the rest is history. I started watching his streams and then that's, kind of what brought me here to this and you know then our story our little history that we talked about you know yep, <laughs> it's, it's yep, just, yep. just God, it's so incredible to see this kind of stuff yeah definitely i think people are right man start small um you can yeah. do it and that's in my brain it's like that's why i'm looking at these like little little like if i just had maybe one of those claws on the shelf like you know as like a weird random statue right, or something right. just playing with them man it's um yeah so um all right Welcome, speaking bro. of speaking of which let's talk about you for a second as we close out this was you last night and you know we tease you sometimes because man uh the record was six i think a couple weekends ago last week it went over so, and you went six and a half yeah and last night last you went three. to <laughs> Eight hours and 11 minutes and a nice little 45 seconds at the end there and sort of uh, to top it all off. Um, and what's great, though, Oz, is that uh, I love how you've just managed to get like a bunch of different folks on, right, to kind of meet one another. And then oftentimes, as you pointed out, you know, um, Trevor was there to kind of show off the figure, which is really fun. So like if, you know, if you're not familiar with what Oz is doing, and I don't think that's the case um, with the folks who are on right now, but um, right. But it would, you know, it's like it's it's a fun hangout, and you never know what's going to pop up. There's a little bit of information that gets dropped, fun stuff that gets shared, uh, figures get unboxed. We yeah. start talking about snack foods and oh my god, um, the the crazy paths our conversations just go down. Yep. it all starts similarly toy based, but then. Yep. Uh, Adam can fill you in on what, um, you know, not to steal any kind of segment from toy anxiety, but apparently Ostradamus Toys is number one in, in 
Adam's got the list. I really want to ask him to make me ads. That I... <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's it's a lot of fun, man. I, you know, I've we're all adults. The world's stressful, and mm. you know, mm -hmm. as much as we enjoy like toys, one of the best things about toys, in at least to me and and to many others here, was not just you know, having a collection for myself to look out brings me a little bit of joy. Yep. Being able to share that and play with my toys with my friends, which yep. is, that's just how I feel the Saturday night hangout streams are. And that's why they are capable. Because, you know, like when you're a kid and, you know, you're playing with your buddies and you're having great fun with toys. And, and at the end of the day, you don't want to go home. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to stay and you want to play more. And that's kind of how I feel like the Saturday night hangouts are. We enjoy sitting around talking about this thing we're all very passionate about. You know, you can see Bud showing off a little bit of the custom work he's doing. Uh, yep. Trevor is sharing with us this amazing figure that just got dropped. Yep. You know, and my channel was lucky enough to have one of the first looks in hand last night because Trevor came on to share that with us. Yeah, Joe yeah. showed off many other amazing customs that he's working on. Thanos is always unboxing some stuff and, and showing us whatever projects he's working on. Ed's hanging out, as his name says, drinking coffee and making miracles, you know? Yep. I want to go and show, like you mentioned, yes. Joe's dope work. Um, he was showing us this that um, he said he created right after Arakagor was announced, got That's these right. head sculpts and just, it's a cool spot. You know, folks come through, hang out. It's really chill. It's fun to hang out. You know, I, I was mentioning yesterday, like, yeah, I won't be on here for 20 minutes and then end up way too long. Cause that's my classic thing. It's like, I'm having too much fun, but um, it's exactly that you're hanging out at a friend's house. Like, Oh, I gotta go. Mom's gone. But uh, you know, so it was cool last and night. Let's see how many different people did you have? You had butt on Thanos, oh, Joe, that was Joe's first time on your stream too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was Joe and Trevor. It was nice. both of their first times joining That's us right. last night. Um, of course, you know, we had Thanos, Ed, uh -huh. uh, Axion, yep. and Axion uh, yourself. You joined us for a while. We had yep. Aaron, Payne's Toy Samples, there if ever I was There's wondering Aaron. who that raccoon image was that he's got for his fun display when he walks away. Um, oh, is that? Yeah. <laughs> and then I think with Trevor, I think I missed Trevor uh by just a couple of minutes yeah, I was yeah. Saying earlier and then i think i jumped on at a certain point here oh those heads that he went around ah, and there's me yeah yep. and people are sharing things like that like you know thanos um sharing the 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 cool custom heads that he won from uh right from legion's lounge as they were yep. doing their um you know their road to Legion's Con, Legion's they're con. having like different uh, customizers and people who are going to be selling stuff at the con come on and a bunch of them donate prizes. And uh, yeah, Thanos uh, won the draw. Yeah, he did. awesome. And we got to see that. Um, I came in and shared that. What is it? The worst figure? Just because. Absolute worst. <laughs> absolute worst in the best way. But um, yeah, as the night goes on. on and you would think that things are going to wrap up and slow down. It always ends up picking up as yep. people leave. More people come in here. We have random diorama joining us after I had won a giveaway on hello toys. I've been showing yep. off a lot of his work that he does. That's right. Uh, because I have some in hand. So he was working on some projects last night, just hanging out. Mm -hmm. uh, as the night goes on, we had, uh, KJ or Black Genghis from mm -hmm. Toy Kind of Mood came in. We also had Tony Romo join us after a while as well. Here you see our very own Cob. amazing Cobweb Collector and Travis from Hexastack gets stacked. Mr. Folks. Wonderful. Mr. Wonderful himself. Aaron um, showing us as many un un toys that need to be unboxed. Uh, right. So, you I said mean, AJ was here. I, I remember jumping on because I was editing while um, the family was watching Guardians of the Galaxy again. So we watched a whole movie and, you know, I was editing. I jumped on and y'all were still, still going. Still going. Still and talking. then I was like, oh, it hey. just doesn't end. 
KJ joined. There's Tony. Yeah. Jumping on here. So like, yeah, every um, Saturday night, almost every Saturday night, jump on Ostradamus toys and you, you'll never know who's going to jump on, including sometimes um, some sketchy things that have, that have happened in the past. But um, we say we don't, we say we don't talk about it, but it always gets brought up. Oh, we bring it up all the time. It happens. Look at this it's, guy. It's in this. Be a running joke. Awesome. Say. Awesome. Awesome shirt there. Look at that. Right. Appreciate the color. Um, exactly. Highly articulated. Yep. Towards the end of the night, highly articulated jumped in and joined us as well. Adam, it's always fun having you come on. Then we had Allison eventually jumped in a little bit later than that. And even Kayla kind of come on at the end. Um, because again, you just never know who is going to appear in my streams. We've had, yep. you know, Skelly's jumped in and hung out with us on a Saturday night that he's free. Uh, Bobby's jumped on. So, you know, my, my co-hosts and, and friends from the toy frenzy love to come on and jump on when they have the availability and it's great to spend more time with them as well as just Ken from Toy Connections may show up. Mega J may show up. You just really have no idea who is going to be on Ostradamus Toys Live next. I mean, it's pretty much almost a guarantee that I'll be there. But at this point in time, I don't know. Heck, uh, Thanos or, or uh, Aaron could probably hijack my channel and start running things on a Saturday night. I wasn't there. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> if you like gut health, Prince, and chocolate chip cookies, you're going to love Ostradamus. Did I miss a conversation about Prince? Because Oh, yeah. God. There was some Prince talk later. God well, you mentioned the it. cool shirt he was wearing earlier. Well, that's what I was going to say. There, there was now. a... Uh, there was a uh, costume change. Yeah, Adam does costume changes. It's great. I have that exact same shirt, and uh, sure. yeah, we've uh, we've discussed this shirt before. I think he got it on a uh, a visit to the states. I think at, at a Target. Okay. He was he was excited by the branded T shirts at Target. We've got Kayla. We've got Allison Cobb. Like it's it's cool man it's cool just like it's the clubhouse right super seven says that all the time about their stores like yeah it's a clubhouse come through hang out there's folks showing off their snacks i think i jumped on <laughs> right around here again or i i was I, right i didn't jump on but i was um chatting you were in the chat again yeah yeah yeah, yeah. before i was like yeah man y'all gotta go to sleep but so this is 758 i'm gonna see let's see who the true stragglers are who made it till the end who Just are the people everybody. who are there who don't help you clean up before you uh, end the party? No, uh, that's no, this cool. This is man. pretty much the end crew right there. Yeah. So eight o'clock, what time was that? Uh, the eight hour mark. Yeah. Um, God, that had to be like close to like four, maybe five. And then um, <laughs> I know we were in the back room talking for like an un- it was after 6 a.m. in the morning by the time I finally went to bed last night. Sun was coming up again. And, uh, you know, not to out you, but um, you are still wearing the same clothes. But Dude, I ain't going to try to <laughs> hide or admit it. I slept until afternoon today, and even then I was still up and catching people's live streams. I try to keep up with as many as I can. As a matter of fact, I was going to lay down, take a nap, and get changed before jumping on here tonight. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, I put on Mega J, seeing what he was talking about, and he was like, uh, Oz, why don't you jump on? And I heard the call to arms, and I said, I must go. And so. That's awesome. That's I think I made the declaration that anyone who doesn't like Prince needs to be drowned in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. Yes. Um Yes, one of my favorite <laughs> lines from that film. Um, he was on twice and hence the costume change. Um, Skelly, right. Skelly, this thing is amazing. I sort of showed it. There is a disk drive, a floppy disk drive in this guy's head that says um, people, uh, what is it? People to delete. Um, so you got your little, for those of you old enough to know what this Ooh, is. Uh... For those of you old enough to know what this is in the back of his head, you stick in your disc, you load it up, you hear that thing spin, and this thing's amazing. Um, it, you know, not the the most highly articulated thing in the world, um, but it has articulation so cool. points. Yeah, we'll talk more about that another time. But man, I appreciate your approach to streaming and just in general, man. I really appreciate the sort of like just the positive vibe that you've always sort of 
held down and um, super inviting all the time, always like super giving, trying to like, you know, give people, um, you know, a shot, come on through, you know, come on my channel and That's right. get some practice streaming. And, you know, like I said before, you, you help me uh do that and you you give bud a space to um not share his cookies uh, yeah <laughs> he wasn't i mean trying between to a, share at all <laughs> I, I feel like you gave um so many of us a space to kind of hang out with her and me thanos Cobb, you know just like it's been really cool so um and i'm i'm happy that it's uh hasn't been a consistent sausage fest lately like <laughs> we've had um, yeah, folks across the sex and gender spectrum on on the show, it's just, it's just cool to have a bunch of different people on. So yeah. I appreciate that about you and and your approach to things, man. So that's what I try to do, man. Everybody's welcome. It's a safe space to just come, hang out, enjoy yourselves, enjoy these toys, and even for those who may not be willing to do a face reveal, like you do not have to have your camera on the live stream, yeah. folks. Yep. You can join in and just chit chat if you want. Yep. 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 You have said that uh, a number of times and uh, it's been great. Um, so actually to end, that's what's up. Allow me to take a moment. Hey, look, there's us to do a little <laughs> bit of um, housekeeping when it comes to the channel. Cause as folks know, it's hilarious. So First off, there was an AWOC talk coming this week. It's finally done. And, you know, you guys are making fun of me. I told you I need to edit. And you guys are like, when are you not editing? And as you were I good, shared. You were good last night. As I shared, it's, 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 um, I am always editing. But for the last month and a half, it's because I've been editing this one video. Um, and that latest episode of AWOC talk is going to show up this Wednesday. Um was going to do it, uh, could have been today, could have been tomorrow, but um, just so that we can actually both um, be on, both um, Adam from Highly Articulated and I can actually be on during the premiere. We're going to premiere that on Wednesday. I'm sharing that because there's a point in that, this was about a month and a half ago, I think, where I said, hey, Adam, um, you know, I, I don't really celebrate the milestones enough, but I just hit 350 or whatever it was. And so I was like, yeah, that's it's." That's how long it took me to edit um, because uh, a little bit over a week ago now, I hit 500 over here on Brick Something, and I want to appreciate everybody in this chat right now, folks who have been on the channel, maybe folks watching the replay in the future. Um, thank you for coming through to Brick Something. This is something that I started, um, you know, I, I joke around about my toy life crisis, but I started this on um, my birthday um, in 2022, August 14th. So um, a little bit after my birthday, so what, like uh, a year and about a month into it, I hit 500 subs, which is fantastic. Um, and you know, it's been a it's been a fun experiment. That's all this is, man. It's just it's it's a fun thing to do. It's a fun little corner that I get to like curate, right, and kind of share um, my love for action figures, other nerdy things like TV shows, Lego, whatever it is. Um, do shows with you, get on live streams, right? And so far, it's been fun, man. We we do this thing, which started, um, I think this is like the fifth weekly or maybe fourth weekly version of the news that I've been doing. Yeah. And that's kind of become a thing now on Sundays. Um, occasionally, I'll do special ones. You and um, Eldo were here for a special one. So yep. um, all that to say, uh, I'm kind of looking to celebrate. And in the community panel um or a community tab or whatever I, don't, I think a lot of people don't even realize these things exist um i mentioned that um you know i'm doing a giveaway i'm going to be doing a series of giveaways and the first five giveaways one for every hundred um are going to be coming up and i'm going to space them out um just so that i you know have a little bit of time and can kind of let properly let people know about it um, I'm going to be giving away a 2021 SDCC exclusive um, in this cute box, uh, Scare Glow. Um, I know these may not be your thing, but just, you know, I have stuff that I want to share and give away. Uh, Mythic Legions, Vi uh, All-Stars Vitus figure, um, right. Mint In? What is it? Mint with card. card? No, yeah, mint and box. Um, and, you know, I know people, they've got a... When it comes to Funko Pops, but... Uh, 
I, I love these things. Yum, so. Yeah, and it's He Man, man. Right. So, um, a little battle armor He Man, a little Merman. I think these things are super cute. I, I do wish, not to give anybody ideas, but if they release these exact same designs articulated, I'd be all over them. But um, that said, I'm also going to give away uh, a Masterverse uh, Ram Man. So, there's five of these things. And I'll tell you, like, I, I, I'm looking to, to give away some other stuff i just you know i think it's fun and i've been lucky enough to get some awesome things on giveaways um so right now uh if you were paying attention to that and you were already a subscriber so as a thanks to the people who were here before i hit 500 if you'd filled out that form you got like extra entries if you filled it in during this week you get another extra entry but when i do the live stream giveaway um anyone who's on the stream can just sign in um, and get an entry one entry and so you don't have to be present to win if you've got one of these entries from you know being here early um i'll hit you up um if i don't hear from you i'll give it away again so so that's that i just want to let people know that that is a thing i've mentioned on the community um tab but i haven't really set it in a video yet um so i'm trying to figure out how that all works so adam's comment right now uh adam highly articulated making highly some sort of uh no which one the uh articulated fungal pops are plunderlings right um that's the way it kind of feels sometimes yeah <laughs> but they're um, so good I, again like i said i would uh absolutely love that kind of thing um so Anyway, that's what's going on. And I just, I can't say enough. Ooh, I'm at 521 now, which is cool. That That's higher than the other day. So thank you. Um, yeah, I haven't really been doing a good job of sort of celebrating the milestones, but um, um, mainly because I didn't want to trip on, on the, the numbers, but I'm, exactly. I'm happy and Mega J was right. Uh, you know, it's like, we got to celebrate these things. It's, it's, it's a, sure. it's an accomplishment and, and, and and so anyway, all that to say thank you and thank you again to Oz cuz um yeah, you you got you got me into the live stream thing and just helped me feel a little bit more comfortable doing this. You introduced me to a bunch of really cool people that are on this chat right now that are consistently on your Saturday nights and so yeah, man, just super appreciated. Um yeah. So look out for those giveaways, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um anyway, um oh and the shorts i will say uh thank you allison i appreciate that um as an example like we learn from each other i learned this from allison actually because allison's been doing these dope shorts of her doing her coloring yeah. thing and I, you know i was like yeah you know i really i'd love to do that with my figures and that's really all these are it's just me putting these figures um on the table and Shout out to Toy Therapy, um, uh, to uh, Pains, who helped me paint this thing in the background or really pushed me to get that backdrop done. And I think that really kind of just pushed me on this trajectory to be like, okay, let's, let's do this now. They're just simple right. turnarounds. But what I love about it is I feel like I'm looking at a dope card back in the like, yeah. late 70s and 80s of my action figures. So... Anyway, yeah, I appreciate that, Allison. I'm having fun with the uh, with the shorts, and you definitely um, you definitely inspired me with that. All right, man. Um, so that's all I really have for the news this week, and I really appreciate you coming back um, to do oh, this with me, especially on a weekly. Um, so. Again, I guess logistically, folks, if you were if you missed it um, and you weren't here in the live when Thanos and I were dropping in the links, I'll be putting those links up in a little bit and I'll put on the community post when they're up. But that um, URL again is accessible by this QR code in the bottom right and it's bit.ly slash brick something news. Ostradamus Toys, if you're not familiar, you need to go subscribe to his channel. All the information is in the description um and uh why don't you tell us what's going on actually with the, with the channel you've got um you've got a bunch of different things throughout the the week so what's going on yeah well this upcoming week uh well man 
up until now I've been saying I got news coming out with Brick on Sunday, but <laughs> that's now. So this upcoming week, of course, we've got Toy Frenzy on Thursday night on Skelevator's channel. If you have not already checked that out, make sure you head on over there. Give it a like and subscribe. You can catch me there every Thursday for the most part. Mm -hmm. Occasionally, sometimes I, I can't make it, but, you know, health reasons or whatever. So in any case, though, it's a great show every Thursday night. Then, of course, you will find me each and every Saturday on my own channel. Again, sometimes I miss it, but at this point, I could probably hand the keys off to one of my friends and they'd be able to handle doing the live <laughs> hangout just fine on their own. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that'll be every, you know pretty much each and every Saturday. And then you have no idea really where I'm going to pop up next on YouTube because honestly, I just appear everywhere. Um, you know, like it's I true. said today, Mega J put out the call to arms and I was like, oh yeah, okay, let me go. I knew I got this coming up and I'm like, Jay, I got to roll. I'm supposed to be over on Brick's channel, dude. <laughs> so, you know, uh, you got to do the on. math on that. I am curious in the last 24 hours, how much you've spent on a live stream. So let me go see how long, uh, <laughs> Jay's. While you're doing that, Legion's class. So obviously there's news, and we got together not too long ago, but that's got to be coming up pretty soon. But that's a, a thing that you could see over that's at right. um, at Oz's channel. And um, yeah, I think yeah, that'll you've be got a lot of cool real stuff. soon. You and I are going to be trying to compile and get together, not to add any more work to your plate, Brick, but uh, going to try to work on some cliff notes for those of you who may have missed a class or two yeah, um, yeah. as well as have some more plans that uh, Brick has helped me out with and just came up with another really cool awesome idea today for some additional content so pretty soon you guys are going to start nice. getting regular content from me throughout the week uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really, really going to enjoy that as well. Cool. Yeah, man, let's let's do it. Let's go check out uh, Ostradamus Toys. Go subscribe right now and, uh, you know, uh, get plugged in. Hit that notification so that you don't miss all the cool stuff that he's going to be coming with in the next couple of months. Um, and thank you again for supporting Brick Something. I think for the most part, that's that's all I got, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that should be about it. If okay. you include Toy Friend, Mega J, my stream, and this, I have roughly streamed for at least 16 of the last 72 hours. <laughs> and I'm assuming that's well more than, yeah, uh, what is usual but yeah that's intense man and good on you because uh you work hard and i hope that folks uh start to do a little bit more jumping over there and checking all the cool things that you've got coming on so i appreciate that brick thank you yeah man thank you so thank you to everybody who's in the chat who joined us live today again if you're catching this on the replay you can use that qr code in the bottom right to access a document that'll show you all the links to everything that we covered today um and there's also the, all the info there for my co-host so check that out um, what do I got going on this week? Wednesday will be a new episode of A Walk Talk, the long-awaited month and a half edited uh, tiny segment of issue number four will be covered in that. Um, we just interviewed Utama, uh, who is the artist behind Animal Warriors, a lot of the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom character designs and the comic book. It's a fantastic fantastic conversation i think i'm going to break that up into two episodes so it's me adam from highly articulated and tama to talk about everything talking about a walk talking about his art talking about his own creation so that's super exciting shorts come pretty much every day i usually take one or two days off where i don't want to upload something and i think i need to unbox uh, do an unbox something video soon of these weird toys because they're dope so look for that in the channel all right, folks, I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Unfortunately, that's done, and we're back to work for those of us that have the normal schedule. But I hope you enjoyed a little slice of toy nerdy goodness with me and Oz today. Ozbrick in the house, and we will catch you um, probably again Saturday night. We'll hang out at your place. Sound good? 
Sounds like a plan, brother. Bring your sleeping bags. We're doing a sleepover. We'll have a pajama party with cereal. Perfect. All right, folks. Have a great week. Peace, power, all the good things in life. Osbrook. <laughs>